pre program comes in with a clean slate. Now with the chance to start their season on a positive note, the fourth ranked Duke Blue Devils welcome the Jacksonville Dolphins to Durham for the lid lifter on the 2023 campaign. Hi everyone and welcome to Koskinen Stadium. Luke Hallett on hand for today's match featuring a Duke program that's ready to compete for championships and a JU program that begins the Ali Simmons era, one that carries plenty of promise for the Dolphins. Last season, this Duke team, a terrific season yet again, reaching the NCAA tournament before eventually bowing out in a close match, falling to the Creighton Blue Jays. But they had a couple of wins prior to that, and they are looking to compete for championships. That is what they were looking to do here in Durham, and that is what the words from their head man, John Kerr, said in a meeting with the media earlier this week. He said, last year we did a lot of good things, but we're hungry for championships, and this Duke team has all the makings of a championship bunch. They'll have to go out and prove it today against a Jacksonville Dolphins club that's starting a new era. They're turning the page from last year's campaign where they finished 3-10-1 in 2021, 3-8-4 in 2022. New head coach, as mentioned, Ali Simmons, formerly the associate head coach at Elon. Not too far away, the Phoenix and the Furman Paladins played in the game prior to this. And so Jacksonville will look to start off the Ali Simmons era with a positive note, but they will be hard pressed to do so against a very talented Duke Bunch, rock solid on defense, has some solid offensive contributors as well. This team last season giving up just a handful of goals, 11 of them in total, this Duke team. They scored first as well in 13 of the 15 matches back in 2022, and they come in hungry despite losing a couple of key contributors from last year's team. Shakur Muhammad, Muhammad and Peter Stroud, both players that have moved on from the Duke program, both of which are playing in the professional ranks now. But this Duke team is talented, hungry, and looking to start with a positive results at home. As for the Blue Devils and John Kerr, in his 16th year as the head man, going for win number 150 in his illustrious career here in Durham. And we are underway at Koskinen Stadium, the Dolphins and the Blue Devils. Second game of our twin bill today, as that one will go out of play early. Blue Devils with the blue kits, all green kits today for JU. Last year, the head man for Jacksonville, Mauricio Ruiz. He coached from 2014 to 2022. Jacksonville did have a good campaign in the 2020-2021 season. Went 7-4 and 2. But they lost a little bit of steam as mentioned 3-10 and 1 in 2021, 3-8 and 4 last season. They did post wins against Wright State, UC Riverside and Georgia Southern and had a very competitive match with the number 1 team in the country that was Wake Forest. They lost 1-0 in Winston-Salem and this Duke team is that some overly physical play? We'll give it back to the Blue Devils. Last season, they were sensational. One of the top defensive teams in the entire country. They came in and were spectacular in just about every single game. They'll look to continue and carry that momentum over to the 2000, 2023 season. The sixth meeting all time between these two programs. Last meeting, well, it wasn't recently, 2015, on October 27th, but the Blue Devils won 1 0 on a Brian White goal in the 93rd minute. Zach Mathers with the assist in that one. As for the Blue Devils today, they have a freshman in goal, Julian Eyestone. He reclassified from the class of 2024 to the, the 2023 class. And John Kerr was quite excited about the freshman goalkeeper and what he can bring. An impressive player in this defensive back line. Figures to be one of the toughest, not only in the ACC, but also the entirety of the country. Amir Daly, Kamran Asito, and Tino Lopez bringing back the back line for that Duke defense. So solid and so impressive as they continue to dominate possession early. Looking for a chance here. They swing it out wide. Play it back into the box just a bit far. It'll bounce around in the corner, and the Blue Devils will reset. Was looking for Bjornsson on the cross into the box. 
They play it in once more. Fight for the ball, possession, and a missed touch will give it back to Duke. Ruben Masalis will drop it off. Good possession so far from the Blue Devils. Pariano into the corner. He gets it back. Pariano expected to be a bigger offensive contributor this year. That's what John Kerr said in, again, that media session. Mentioned that they're going to play him up a little bit more. Such an explosive player with the ball on his foot. 5'8", 145 midfielder from Philadelphia. Started every game last year. One goal and seven assists. He led the team in assists. And Pariano figures to be, again, another big piece of that championship puzzle for this Duke Blue Devil team. That comes in with its highest preseason ranking ever in program history, number four in the country. Of course, you look at different rankings, you see different teams atop the ACC or the national polls as well. Another good through ball for the Blue Devils. Ajago in the corner. Transfer from Dayton, making his way to Durham. He gives it up to Keenan Hot. Tries to thread the needle, almost got it. Eyestone will venture out of the box. Play it away to make sure that one didn't get too far away. Up the line they go, Bjornsson. So Tic-tac-toe passing finds its way to the outside, Frederick. The reverse course to the Blue Devils so far with crisp possession. Just about four minutes elapsed in this one. Blue Devils probing, and a foul hit from behind. The guilty part of there, Carson Wood. As Jacksonville, their defense set up a little bit differently. Abdul Mamat and Shane Clancy, Casper Davidson, some of those prime back defenders for the Dolphins. Olivier Correa, Trey Demps, Ever Scower, and Yepi Jordanson. Among those players contributing on the defensive end. Set piece opportunity for the Blue Devils, fourth ranked team in the country. Excelled in set pieces from corners last season, averaged about seven corner kicks per match last year. And looking to get on the board early. Into the box, head put on it, but wide of the post. A sigh of relief could be breathed by the Dolphins. Christian Sekania in net today for Jacksonville. Sophomore from Upper Bavaria, Germany. He started just four matches last year, played in a total of six, but he's the only returning goalkeeper for the Dolphins. Jacksonville team that has brought in a slew of transfers. And that's to be expected as Ali Simmons, as mentioned in his first season, trying to reshape and remold this Jacksonville program that has seen solid moments throughout the duration of their soccer program. Regular season champs in 1959, 1999, more recently, of course, 2007 and 2020. We're in the A Sun Championship game a few seasons ago. And this Jacksonville team hoping to restore their program back to that type of level. That ball knocked out of play. Duke again has kept the ball in the attacking third or really on the Jacksonville side of the field throughout the first handful of minutes in this match. Masalis with the throw in. Dolphins a chance to counter. Trying to flick it up into the Duke attack opposing third. They are unable to do so. Play on says the official. Casper Davidson plays it up. And Duke again able to recover, but that one over the line. And the Dolphins will have a throw in. One good opportunity for the Blue Devils so far. Jacksonville trying to replicate some of that success. Dolphins scored 17 goals last season, about 11 shots per game. Pretty decent clip when it comes down to it. However, allowed 23 goals in total. 
And it'll continue to bounce and walled off by Aceto. Goal kick coming for Eye Stone of the Blue Devils. The one thing Jacksonville, of course, cannot allow the Blue Devils to do is to cash in on those corner kick opportunities. 67 corner kicks allowed all of last season for Jacksonville. This Duke team, as mentioned, one of the top teams in the ACC and the country in corner kicks attempted, and they are so dangerous with those set-piece opportunities. Aceto moving from the back line. Tried to thread the needle, unable to do so. Bjornsson couldn't put a foot on it. Nifty move and a physical play. Keenan Hot, too physical with the tackle attempt. And so a set piece opportunity, free kick coming for Jacksonville. Kenan Hot, one of those players that has a lot of accolades preseason coming into this year. Many consider Hot to be one of the best young players in the ACC, and it is a stacked conference, the ACC, and Hot will be issued a yellow card on the play. Playing in. And now Duke, no numbers. Almost a giveaway, Blue Devils able to retain. Fariano streaking down the far flank. I gather a Jago. Quick move in space. Dolphins looking for an opportunity. Lay it off. First true test coming for Eyestone in his collegiate debut. Looking for a handball. They won't get it. Duke on the counter looking to catch Jacksonville napping. And the play style restored to the tempo Duke more accustomed to. Just about nine minutes into this match. Mason Duvall gave it a run on their prior attempt. But nothing there for the Dolphins, who play a tough schedule to start things off. They play Elon after this match. That comes in a couple of days. After that, a trip to Chestnut Hill, Boston College, and then to Mercer, take on the Bears before they head home, do battle with FAU. Blue Devils, of course, with a very difficult schedule. That's life in the ACC, as well as some tough non-conference opponents as well. Furman and Wofford are on the docket. Trip to Princeton on September the 4th, then Virginia at home at Clemson and at North Carolina. Ball rolling toward the line, stays in. Blue Devils reset and re-rack. Ten minutes gone in our opening half. Teams beginning to feel each other out. Duke has maintained the majority of the possession so far. They play this one into the box. Physical contact. Blue Devils give it away to J.U. Still on their own end, having to be careful. Duke, Duke ramping up the pressure. Midway point in this first half, and both sides still looking for further quality opportunities. Two shots so far for Duke, one for Jacksonville. This could be the chance for the Blue Devils. Intercepted, taken back by J.U. Another chance for the Blue Devils. A good stab in the box. No call as that one bounds out of play and a terrific defensive stop by the J.U. Dolphins. Shane Clancy clipping that ball away from Forrester Ajago and able to prevent what could have been a dangerous opportunity for the Duke Blue Devils. Masalas to throw in. Staying physical. Played into the opposite side. And then a roll all the way to the other flank. 
Duke plays it and couldn't get ahead on it, and a goal kick coming. The first quality chance in quite some time for Duke. And it comes up empty. And coming in will be David Robinson for JU. Dolphins looking to move it up the pitch and will do so. And give it away. They'll give it back to Aceto. Periano. Ball on his foot. Precise passer. Lays it off. And they'll continue to Pass around the back line, looking for an opening. And here is Robinson, freshly inserted. Robinson, the sophomore, Port St. Lucie, Florida, started five games last year, played in 15, making an appearance off the bench midway through half number one. Chip coming as they look for the long ball. That's knocked out of play, throw in coming for Duke. Rapidly they move. Bjornsson lays it off. Looking to play it in, stabbed away. A good defensive play for JU. Duke is getting dangerously close to putting one in. A lot of quality opportunities the last 10 minutes. Looking for something, hand put on it. JU in trouble. One time coming, it bounces away. And a goal kick again for Jacksonville. It was Hot who had the ball bounce out to him. Took one touch, gathered himself, collected. Couldn't rifle it to the back of the net. Heading into the 22nd minute, Dolphins have had one decent opportunity. About eight, nine minutes into the match. But Duke has been knocking on the door Looking to try and put one in and earn John Kerr his 150th win as head coach. Dolphins playing tough. J.U. gets it. They possess and they find Robinson. Eventually corralled and over to Eyestone. Eyestone flicks it to the near flank. And that'll go out for a goal kick. I still looking composed in between the pipes today. Six foot six, 215 pounds, freshman from Dallas, Texas. Ranked as one of the top goalkeepers in the class of 2024. Of course, finding his way to Durham a year early. That was ignited. Duke the catalyst. Trying to get him to campus a year early and a foul called. Free kick coming for the Blue Devils. They'll pass it around the back line further. Duke has dominated possession, especially the last 10 to 12 minutes. JU has had some opportunities. Some moments where they've put together a few passes and tried to find a streaking player. Catch lightning in a bottle, but they've been unable to capitalize. Possession won by Duke. Hot gets it back. Pass to Dolphin defenders. Sensational move. Trying to pass it. Thread the needle. Couldn't do so in a foul call. Jacksonville doesn't like it. Clipping the ankles of Hot. And now a prime opportunity for Duke, just about 20 yards from the goal. Set pieces. An area where Duke is so dangerous, so lethal in these situations. 
Averaged about 23 shots last year per match, 12 of them on goal. We'll see what the Blue Devils cook up in this set piece opportunity. Hit in with the left foot and bounced immediately back. Strong defensive wall from J.U. Tackle from behind. And that'll be a corner kick coming for Duke. Knocked out by Robinson and J.U. Periano will take the corner kick. Led the team in assists last year, seven of them in total, nine points in 2022. Periano plays it in. And it's off ahead, out of play. Quick throwing. Masala's battling. And it stays with the Blue Devils. Ali Simmons effusive thinking that might have gone to Jacksonville. Blue Devils will take it. Masalas gets it back. They'll play it to the defenders. Comrade is C2. One of the things that makes this Blue Devil team dangerous, they've shown the propensity to try and push the ball up the, the field, up the pitch. And even when they're doing that, they can always play it back to their back line so steady. They know they continue to look for spots. They just take their time, try and dissect this Jacksonville defense. Few moves coming on the far side. They play it off for Frederick. Frederick over to Masalas. He plays it in. Physical play inside, and it goes to Jacksonville. Bodies flying in the box. Ajago was jockeying for position. Dolphins will look to regroup. And it has seemed like several minutes. It's been quite some time since the Dolphins have really possessed the ball, especially when it's been on the Duke side of the field. Dolphins gather now, trying to penetrate that difficult Duke defense. Opportunity blossoming for J.U. That's skied out of play and should be a corner kick for the Dolphins. Second set piece opportunity for J.U., their first corner kick. <laughs> 74 corner kicks last year for Jacksonville. Averaged about five per match. About five shots on goal per match last year for J.U. as well as we enter the 28th minute. Dolphins hoping to crack the scoreboard first. Duke recovering. Lopez at the charge. J.U. plays it back. Almost lost it, did Frederick. Frederick gets it back. Little too much pace put on it. And what could have been a spectacular ball for Wolfie Bjornsson instead will fall into the waiting hands of Sekania. Duke team has dominated possession so far. A season ago, this Duke club had much of the same. 32 goals last season for the Duke Blue Devils in non-conference games. So many quality possessions for a Blue Devil team that really thrived, especially at home. 
Kiel with just 11 goals all of last season. They scored first in 13 of their first 15 matches in 2022. And really, they look solid in their exhibitions as well as they look to try and scratch across the match's first goal. A 3-0 win against UNC Asheville, 4-0 against UNC Wilmington, and then a 2-2 draw against Georgetown on the road. Hoya's a rock-solid program on the road. Nothing to hang your head about from that result. An exhibition against UNC Asheville, different as well. Played 15 minutes. Game had to be halted due to storms. As Jacksonville will play that one away. Bjornsson. A Duke number four in two of them. Clemson number four in another. Pittsburgh fifth. Kentucky as low as sixth. Pittsburgh sixth in another. Really just depends. Always interesting to see those at the end of the season. See how accurate some of the prognosticators were. Thirty-eighth minute, Blue Devils will continue to work it on the back line. Periano cross pass to the far flank. Miguel Ramirez inserted a few moments ago. Finds Drew Kerr. Kerr past the defender. A good recovery and a better stab. Jacksonville turns it over again. Duke is able to settle and really get their pick of what they want to do when they get the ball to the back line. Jacksonville is content to not necessarily park the bus, but they're being careful. They don't want to overplay anything. This Duke team, they know just exactly how dangerous they can be. And despite being more of a defensive-minded team, at least a season ago with the number of goals they allowed, which was very, very few, as mentioned at the top of the broadcast, allowed just 11 goals last year. But they have to be aware of the very impressive goal-scoring opportunities and technical skills from some of the goal-scoring players on this Duke team as a couple substitutes come in once more. Jai Bean will come in for the Blue Devils. Nystone will keep it at his foot. Three shots in total for Duke, one for JU. Five fouls for the Dolphins, three of them for the Blue Devils. A corner for each side. With a win, the Blue Devils would improve to 5-1 and one all time against Jacksonville. 4-1 and one right now, no draws for either one of these sides. Third straight season opening win, perhaps, if Duke could pull off the victory. Run their unbeaten streak to 19 in regular season games as well. As for Jacksonville, it would be their second ever win over Duke if they can pick up a victory. First since 1998. Be their first win over a current ACC foe since 2008 as well, and their first season opening win since 2019. A lot of roster cohesion still to come for this JU team as well. Eight transfers, seven freshmen to add to 17 returners. Crushed down the field and back into the JU side. Been a relatively clean match. There was a yellow card early in the first half on the Blue Devils. Kenan Hot picked up that yellow card about seven, eight minutes into the match. But by and large, both sides have played a fairly clean match as the Blue Devils then whistled for the foul immediately after the Dolphins' foul. Jay, you will take a moment as we approach the waning moments of half number one with a very solid crowd on hand. Good number of fans traveled from 
Furman and Elon, their respective campuses and fan bases. And then Koskinen Stadium filling up as the Blue Devils open up their 2023 campaign against Jacksonville. And there's a good number of JU fans here as well. Not necessarily a bipartisan crowd, but there are Dolphins fans making their voices heard amongst their fan bases, their team. They were quite vocal during the introductions as well. There's a lot of hope for this Jacksonville team with Ali Simmons in his first season, first game as a head coach. Ali Simmons, former associate head coach at Elon, perhaps cheering on the Phoenix in their prior match. One time shot, a screamer over the crossbar. And Jai Bean, aggressive with the chance. Duke has had a few opportunities to, to try and test the keeper again. Never a bad idea. Approaching just two minutes to play in half number one. In the 42nd minute, nearing the 43rd. Whistles beginning to blow longer and longer as the Dolphin down on the field. So two minutes, 11 seconds remaining in half number one. Blue Devils with four shots in that first frame. Julian Eyestone has seldom been tested in this one in his collegiate debut. A lot of expectations and a lot of hope for Eyestone. And so far, he's passed the eye test, of course. Looked rock solid in warm-ups. Very good warm-up session. Was crisp in his movements. Good job reaching to the ground, parrying away shots. It looks as if we're just about ready for resumption in a moment or two. Yeppi Jordanson was down on the play. He gingerly walks off the field, and he will be substituted for. Daniel Wilkins will come in. So Wilkins will come in. Figures to finish off the last two minutes and 11 seconds before halftime. Set piece chance coming. Played into the box and headed away. Duke able to deflate those scoring opportunities so quickly and rather easily. One head away and they were able to really escape that scoring chance. Defensive line so good and so solid. Technically and with their communication as well, you can tell this is a seasoned defensive back line. That was the expectation going in and they've lived up to the billing. Here's a chance for Jacksonville, and they're on the board first. It was knocked away and scored by Wilkins. Just inserted. It's Daniel Wilkins on the ricochet, and it's 1-0 JU. How about that for the Dolphins? Daniel Wilkins with one goal a season ago. He was the transfer from Houston Christian. Started six matches for the Huskies last season. He comes in cold from the bench and puts one in the back of the net. Some fireworks right before the half for Jacksonville, who take advantage of a bounce, a ricochet, and they score first.
A shocking result so far and an impressive play for Daniel Wilkins. And now the pressure put on the Blue Devils. Perhaps they score in the last 80 seconds before halftime. Another Dolphin down. They'll stop the clock 68 seconds before halftime. How about the ricochet and the goal? Opportunistic Daniel Wilkins. Houston Christian transfer where his father played power forward for HCU. Then they were HBU, Houston Baptist. A ricochet and a volley. Back of the net for the Dolphins who have scored first and have the Blue Devils in a 1-0 hole. Coming in as well for Jordison. Jordanson was subbed off due to injury, was down for about two minutes. Was able to walk off under his own power and what a substitute it would be. So Duke hoping to regroup and Score the equalizer before the half, if not in half number two. Jacksonville, of course, hoping to fend off the offensive advances and advantages that this Duke team has. Abdul Manaf Amadu was slow to get up, and he'll remain in the game. They whistled Barajas for the foul, and now free kick coming for Jacksonville. Forty-fifth minute in half number one. One nothing Jacksonville. Blue Devils hoping for the equalizer. Booted out of play. Ramirez to throw in. 42 seconds remaining in half number one. Around the horn they go. Far side. Looking to cross denied on it. A terrific takeaway from Jacksonville. They have been revitalized these last five minutes. Content to kick that out of play. Looking for a ball, Blue Devils seeing precious seconds tick off the clock. And after one half of play, Jacksonville will take a one nothing lead into the half. And what a half it was. Seemingly dominated possession-wise by the Duke Blue Devils. Jacksonville picks up a goal from Daniel Wilkins in the 44th minute to jump ahead with a 1-0 lead at half. An exciting second half coming up in about 15 minutes. We step aside for a moment. It's 1-0, J.U. Thank you. 
are side by side with physicians and physicists, where nurses find inspiration in their own experience. Yeah. 
that's the best way of doing it. Attacking, defending, whatever it was. He was, he was just we to, 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 to be a warrior in, in every facet. He really led by example. He, he was such a vital part of our, our team and uh, the success that, that we have had. And it's great seeing that he's starting for Red Bull right now in Sunderland. Knowing that's been his role for a long, long time, and we're big fans of his, and he makes us smile. Whenever you see him say Peter Strauss, you know, he smiles. With the fourth fourth pick in the 2022 MLS Super Draft, Houston Dynamo has seen selection from Duke University for both parts. So excited to be in this spot.
beat him beat up. We are gearing up for second half action. A 1-0 lead, 1-0 lead for Jacksonville. As they score a goal in the 44th minute, Daniel Wilkins on a pinball, a ricochet that bounced just the right way for J.U. And Wilkins finds the back of the net, a 1-0 lead for the Dolphins. As they will look to try and stave off a hungry Duke team that did not lose in the regular season last year, an undefeated 2022 regular season campaign. A couple of draws last year for Duke, but no losses in the regular season. Another opportunity coming for J.U. They switch sides and now to the far flank. Jordanson back in the game. In the torture chamber, Coffin corner, escapes somehow. Lays it off, one touch taken, lefty rocket, and it's far of the woodwork. Good opportunity to open half number two for Jacksonville. Minute and change elapsed in half number two, and the Dolphins come out looking to put together a strong offensive possession. They do just that, unable to score, however, and the Blue Devils will look for that goal that has evaded them for much of this match. A lot of good opportunities and chances. Unable to scratch one across. They'll move aggressively, this time into the box. Ball won by the Blue Devils. Cameron Kerr.
probing. Plays it in. Frederick upended. No foul. Play continues. Terrific seal. Dolphins looking for a second. And terrific defense from Duke. Physical battle. And a foul called on the Blue Devils. Comrade Aceto will be whistled. And a free kick upcoming for Jacksonville as the two jockeyed for position. And J.U. will get a set-piece chance. Whistle blows, and the Dolphins come to it. Blade into the box, head put on it. And it's a corner kick upcoming for J.U. Andres Perez de Garcia took that free kick opportunity. He'll do the same with this corner. In swinger upcoming for Jacksonville. Dolphin scramble, ball is loose, and pounced on top, Eyestone gets to it. Eyestone seldom tested in the first half. A goal came for Jacksonville by Wilkins when the ball was bouncing around. A couple of passes made by the back line. A slight miscommunication, and Jacksonville was able to score the match's first goal. So far, Duke, there's no doubt about it. They've dominated the possession in this match. But Jacksonville has done a good job taking advantage of the opportunities when they've presented themselves. Blue Devils probing, and knocked down was Cameron Kerr. Set-piece opportunity upcoming for Duke. Blue Devils averaged around 12 shots a match. They have four so far. Periano looks to take it. Played in for Duke. That one to the far post. And it's touched away. Blue Devils... Give it back to Jacksonville on a goal kick. It was Musalis, Ruben Musalis, who took the set piece opportunity. Jacksonville escapes unscathed. Dolphins quick in transition. Duke gets it back once more. Wayne Frederick. He'll retain possession. A few quick moves. Blue Devils searching for the equalizer. Strong possession one and a miscommunication. Dolphins will lose possession. Kerr near side. And a heady defensive play made by Jacksonville. Whole reason over. Responsible for that goal kick coming to fruition as he was able to play that off the body of Kerr and out of bounds. 51st minute here at Koskinen Stadium, the Blue Devils in a 1-0 hole after a 44th minute goal coming from Daniel Wilkins. Wilkins had just been substituted on. And no more than two minutes later did he score. Blue Devils get it in the middle of the field and then give it away. Good tackle coming for Duke. Masalas will lead the charge, lays it off. Bjornsson looking back for Masalas. 
Ball has been volleyed around, knocked away, deflected several times. Duke has been seemingly content to play it on the back line, knowing that they can get a good opportunity if they take their time and are surgical in their passing. And they've had good opportunities today, but Jacksonville has had the bend but don't break mentality. They have not broken today, bent several times. Light forward on the inside. Horace Durajago. Transfer from the Dayton Flyers. Now the chance for Duke. A flick into the box. Going for the skying header. Can't put cranium to ball. And another missed opportunity for Duke. Fifth shot for Duke today as skying through the air was a Jago. His first season at Duke began his college career for the Blue Hens of Delaware. Played for two years with the Dayton Flyers. Led Dayton in goals, seven of them in the 2022 season, as well as 17 points, three assists in total for Forrester Ajago. Second team all 8-10 last season at Dayton. First team all Ohio. One of those transfers that has come into this Duke program. And John Kerwin asked about the transfers and the freshmen, some of that new blood that's in this program. He said the transfers and the freshmen, they come to campus. They see the camaraderie and the atmosphere, and it's conducive to a family. And foul will give it back to Duke. They're quick to move. There's no doubt this Duke team prides itself on being a family. Periano with a lot of pace. Heavy on the pass, Jacksonville retains. Quickly swiped away. Blue Devils searching. Kennan hot wide of the net. Duke has been relentless in their offensive pursuit in half number two, trailing one nothing after a 42nd minute, 44th minute goal rather, coming from Daniel Wilkins, fresh off the Jacksonville bench in the first half. The number four team in the country, the Duke Blue Devils. Their highest preseason ranking in program history. A proud program that posted an unblemished regular season last year. Looking to build off that. Ten and a half minutes elapsed in half number two. A one nothing Dolphin lead. Cameron Kerr. Quick with the footwork. Terrific defense from Jacksonville. They get it away again. Amir Daly walled off. And a foul called on Jacksonville. Reason over, who had a breakout year in 2021. He'll play typically the entire match. He's whistled for the foul. Yellow card issued for reason over. A strong crowd on hand for both sides today. As mentioned in half number one, plenty of fans for Jacksonville and a whole lot of fans for Duke. That one played into the box one time and over the net. Those opportunities to continue to present themselves for Duke, seven shots in total, none of which have been on goal. Two shots on goal today for Jacksonville. Clock continues to tick. Seconds dwindling off as Jacksonville with each passing second. The belief goes, grows stronger. That this JU team under new leadership, Ali Simmons, his first game as a head coach, first man, first coach at this Jacksonville team for their new regime and new identity for this team. They can pick up a win, what it would mean. 
mean a whole lot for this Jacksonville program. It'll be their second ever win over Duke, their first since 1998, as well as their first win over a current ACC foe since 2008. For this Duke team, of course, there's plenty on the line as well. John Kerr, his 16th season, hoping to pick up his 150th win in his career, as well as starting the season on a positive note, trying to knock off a non-conference opponent before they take on Furman 2.30 on Sunday. Casper Davidson applying quick pressure. Physical play ramping up as the match continues. Kenan Hunt. They cross it into the box. And knocked away by Jacksonville. They're content to knock that deep into the Duke end. Blue Devils will get it back, but they'll have to throw in and reestablish. continues to push down the field. Thirty-two minutes and change to play. Jacksonville with a goal in the forty-fourth minute from Daniel Wilkins. First and only goal of the match. Cameron Kerr plays it in. Batted around. Duke gets it back. Frederick thought about it. He plays it far side. Kerr. Kerr chips it into the box. Ahead put on. Amir Daly, some jukes, and Duke again will reassess, retain possession, and put the pressure on the defense of Jacksonville. Julian I. Stone, the near sweeper keeper position on that particular kick. The schedule remains difficult for both of those teams, both of these teams as Duke looks to score the equalizer. Kerr inside the box and a corner kick coming for Duke. It'll still remain challenging for the Blue Devils. Upcoming matches against Furman and Wofford, then Princeton on the road before their ACC opener against the Virginia Cavaliers before they travel to Clemson and then North Carolina. Ball is over the head of Frederick. Trying to get it and able to do so is Cameron Kerr. Flicked into the box, head put on. Batted around and knocked away. In transition go the Dolphins, a shove in the back. And a foul called on Duke. Incredulous perhaps was Bjornsson. Periano will take it. Jacksonville with a little touch pass. That ball was in play, and Periano was able to make away with the ball. Reason over trying to cross into the box. Unsuccessful. Again, Duke will take their time. A half hour to play in half number two. The lone goal belonging to Jacksonville. Not many, at least on paper, might have expected the Dolphins to have a 1-0 lead this late into the game. Of course, the fans wearing green might have something to say about that. But they have played well, especially in this second half. Another chance for Duke. Bjornsson swarmed by green jerseys. Finds a crease. Frederick tries. Jacksonville walling off Frederick. And a foul called on the Blue Devils. Quickly playing from the ground, Jacksonville. Without numbers. Olivier Correa will pull it out. Res de Gracia plays it in.
Periano collects. Tripped up from behind and a foul. A quick yellow, no hesitation as Periano. Some calisthenics, some stretches, he'll be okay. Yepi Jordanson will be whistled for the yellow card. Yippe Jordanson picking up another yellow for this Jacksonville team. A couple of those that have been issued today. And Duke gets a free kick. Ali Simmons, incredulous on the sideline, his arms out wide looking for an explanation. He'll eventually get one from the near linesman. Clock frozen at 28 minutes and 52 seconds as Casper Davidson gingerly jogs over to his head coach. Davidson will exit this game. That'll bring in a substitute for Jacksonville. Tobias Holton will come in. Off the bench for the second time today. Play resumes. Daly looking for something. Technically sound Daly. One of the key players on this Duke team. Started 19 games a season ago. Senior defender, all ACC second team a year ago, Amir Daly. Five foot eight, about 140 or so. And a goal against North Carolina last season. Such an important part of what this team does. Duke wins possession. Devils will continue to probe, looking for the equalizer. Searching for it, into the box, head put on and over the goal. Another decent chance for the Blue Devils, Bjornsson skying through into the box. David Robinson comes in for Jacksonville during the brief Stoppage is Mason Duvall. Gets a high five from his head coach, Ali Simmons. Again in his first season. A chance to stun the college soccer landscape with a victory today if he's able to do so. Duke, of course, with a lot of time left in this game. Hoping to find that crack, that crease in the Jacksonville defense. Push across the equalizing goal and perhaps a second one if they're able to do so. Dolphins not content with the 1-0 lead. Head put on, and Frederick has it. Fight for, for possession. And it goes Duke's way. Back line for Duke. Last season giving up just 11 goals. Mentioned it in the first half. Shaq Mohammed and Peter Stroud. The professional ranks. A couple of top picks in the draft this last year. Mohammed responsible for 22 points. Stroud for nine. But Stroud was that ACC midfielder of the year. Past two seasons. It's hard to replace that level of talent. But the cupboard is by no means bare. This Duke team reloaded. Hoping to make a deep run when it comes to the NCAA tournament, perhaps a chance at the College Cup. A lot of aspirations for this Duke club, and as the head man himself said last year, he did a lot of good things. We're hungry for championships. Whether it be an ACC championship, of course, or perhaps a national championship at the College Cup. Duke with lofty aspirations, but all of that stands at the wayside for the moment. They have a game and a tight match against this Dolphins team 
that is 25 and a half minutes away from a stunning upset. Bjornsson. Over to Masalas Bjornsson. Chris passing. Shot hit on the ground. Finds its way to Daly. Daly over to Drew Kerr. Had his pocket picked. Ball knocked away. J.U. will maintain possession. Another substitute coming. As Cole Reasonover will head to the bench. That will bring upon the insertion of a substitute as Reasonover. Has played well in today's game. Started 14 contests last year. Ever score has come into the game for the Jacksonville Dolphins, who a season ago scored 17 goals in total. They allowed 23. They are flipping the script with a new head man. Last year, Mauricio Ruiz. He coached from 2014 to 2022. And it's Ali Simmons in his first day as a professional head coach, at least first match, so to speak, as he was the associate head coach at Elon. Out of play once more. Another chance for the Duke Blue Devils. Forrester Ajago, he has been active on the offensive side. Opportunistic. You have to hand it to the Dayton transfer. He has always been in the mix. Just trying to scratch across that first goal for Duke. No matter how they can do it, it may come down to the waiting moments. In which case, Duke be giving all-out offensive effort to try and salvage a tie or perhaps score two in the latter stages. Mile high in the air, over to Duke. Dolphins chested into the offensive third. David Robinson. He gave it a shot, gave it a run, and it's a corner kick for Jacksonville. You can see Julian Eystone clapping the hands together for a moment. Even what looked like a shorthanded opportunity for Jacksonville turns into a set-piece opportunity. And now going into the 67th minute, Approaching number 68, this Dolphins team is continuing to wear down the back line of Duke with just these quick occasional opportunities. Dolphins able to center it. And another corner kick coming. Out swinger upcoming for Jacksonville. Make that a throw in rather. Perhaps a less dangerous opportunity. Duke marking well. Tight defense. Excellent work inside. That was Amir Daly who was able to produce that goal kick. Terrific work from Amir Daly, the senior defender from Elmont, New York, coming through at a pivotal time. Duke has worked on the perimeter, the outskirts of the box for the majority of this match. They go inside. Bjornsson on a 1-2 pass. Ajago was able to get it to him. Bjornsson too physical, too heavy with his touch.
Ten fouls committed by Jacksonville today, nine by Duke. A somewhat physical match. And another foul, this one on Jacksonville. They get their 11th. First 30 minutes of the match. Just a handful of fouls combined between the two programs. But the intensity has continued to ratchet up. In a 1-0 game, Jacksonville scoring in the 44th minute. On a Daniel Wilkins goal. Lone successful offensive opportunity today. Played in. Drew Kerr had it for a second. And writhing in pain right near the PK ball mark. Abdul Manaf Amadu. And he's going to need attention from the trainer. There's been a couple of moments today where Dolphins have been down for an extended period of time and really what led to that goal from Daniel Wilkins was an injury. Yepo Jordanson was gingerly walking off the field. A quick substitute was made. It was Wilkins. He came in. He scored. It's no exaggeration to say that injuries have shaped this game and this match would not be the same without them. A lot of bodies flying inside the box, especially as the clock continues to tick. Both sides will get some well-deserved rest. There are official rules when it comes to water breaks, whether they're mandatory or not. A lot of it will depend on the temperature at the time. It's an NCAA-mandated rule. 5.61 to be exact. Hydration breaks are taken when the global temperature or the globe temperature is equal to or greater than 86 degrees Fahrenheit no less than two minutes from the 25 to 30 minute mark during the first half, 70 to 75 minute marks during the second half. Those are required during a match. It's 86 degrees or hotter. The first match today, that was Furman and Elon. Those water breaks were taken, of course, by the time this match started, it crept below 86 degrees, thankfully, of course, after a very hot, scalding day here in the great North State. Play resumes. We've ticked under 20 minutes to play. And a giveaway. Pressure put on by Jacksonville. Dolphins trying to crack the code of the Duke defense. They've done it once today. Flying in is Frederick. And a foul called on Duke. Incredulous is Kenan Hot. Wondering how that could be on the talented youngster, the sophomore from Lincroft, New Jersey. ACC all-freshman team honoree started every match last year, all 19 of them. Played for NYCFC, second division, of course, of the MLS Next Pro. Came up through New York Red Bulls Academy. Talented young player on a Duke team, chock full of talented players. Set piece coming for the Dolphins. On it and eyeing it is Eyestone. Plenty of time for the powerful Julian Eyestone. This Jacksonville team, technically sound, and they have been a bend don't break mentality today. As mentioned, they've bent a couple of times. They have not broken. You give credit to the effort given by this Jacksonville team in the first game under a new head coach. A lot of roster changes. Talk about the transfer portal in other sports, of course. And it is just as prevalent on this Jacksonville team. A lot of newcomers, fresh faces, transfers, freshmen. International transfers, of course, as well. This Jacksonville team has blended them together through the first match rather impressively. Get up, 
Periano reverses field. Daly looking to get it back. Open for a moment. They give it to Frederick. Frederick, his cross. Not enough pace. Too soft on the touch, and it harmlessly bounces for a goal kick. Substitutes come in for the Dolphins. Wood and Manaf Amadou. As Manaf Amadou, who was just down a moment ago, is back in. Dolphins maintain possession, threading the needle. David Robinson lays it off. Just fresh from the substitute, shot taken by Wood, and a sliding stop by Eyestone. Eyestone will roll the ball to his defensive line. Even the calm down signal to his team. Over 17 minutes to play in the 74th minute. Blue Devils play it to the attacking third. Daly with a touch. Probing into the box, parried away. Duke hoping to crack this Jacksonville defense. They've been solid inside the box today. Kenan Hot over to Asito. Hot again will take it. Lopez. Jacksonville creeps out further and further. That's the goal of Duke trying to move them away from the box. Approaching 15 minutes in the match. Fancy footwork from Hot. He's knocked down and a prime chance coming for the Blue Devils. This will not be a quick opportunity for Duke as they want to set up their set piece chance. Curran Periano. Drew Kerr strikes it right in the back of the net. A sensational strike from Drew Kerr on a set piece. Drills the equalizer. We're knotted at one. In the 75th minute, Drew Kerr comes through with the equalizing goal. And Duke, which had been knocking on the door time after time, takes advantage of a foul just outside the box. Drew Kerr with a terrific finish. Able to knot the match at one. And now Jacksonville will have to try and answer a Duke team that had been inching ever so close to scoring that goal. And now the crowd behind them, momentum picking up. Substitutes made on both sides. Carson Wood lost it and gave it away. High Stone launches it. Under 15 minutes to play. 
lot on the line for both of these teams. For John Kerr, it would be his 150th win in his career. It'd be five and one all time against Jacksonville as well as another foul will halt play and a yellow card issued. And that's going to be issued, it would appear, on Allie Simmons. So a pair of yellow cards, one for Wayne Frederick, the other to the Jacksonville bench, although Allie Simmons was the catalyst behind that yellow card. We creep closer and closer toward the end of the match. Duke with the momentum. They play it into the box. Almost a fantastic chip, and it's out of play. Fight for the ball. Jacksonville stringing together some passes. Good opportunity for Carson Wood. Wood chases it down. Right near the corner. Another opportunity for Jacksonville. Ball bounces around and a good stop from I Stone. One of the better offensive opportunities for Jacksonville. They've really been unable to string together consecutive passes in the attacking third, especially when the back line of Duke has swarmed on possessions like that. They get it back again, and promptly the Blue Devils take possession. A lot of tension in the air here at Koskinen Stadium. Bjornsson calling his own number. Two Dolphins in the vicinity. Ramirez plays it in. Jacksonville will survive another. Wood almost upended and hit all the way to the grass. A tough shot on a defensive play. Amir Daly leveling the boom on Carson Wood. In the 79th minute. They reverse fields, Frederick. Cameron Kerr. Duke content to find the best opportunity they can with under 12 minutes to play. A goal after the 80th minute really for either side would figure to be a metaphorical backbreaker. Certainly not out of it but the momentum it would provide would be immense. Cameron Kerr into the box. Bjornsson got ahead on it. Still alive. Drew Kerr. Fighting for it. Discarded. And Duke maintains possession. Dangerous opportunity on a throw in for the Blue Devils. Over to Kerr. In once more, deflected away. Daly continues the threat. Periano will lay it off around the perimeter. Bjornsson collects. Nifty flick. And a foul called inside the box. The Blue Devils have a chance to take their first lead of the match with a penalty kick upcoming. Yellow card issued for good measure, and there was no hesitation from the officials. You've got to 
Ten and a half minutes to play. The Blue Devils have trailed for the majority of this match. First goal of the match belonging to Jacksonville. Daniel Wilkins in the 44th minute. After that, there was a goal by Drew Kerr on a set piece opportunity, and it'll be Nick Periano coming for the penalty kick to put the Blue Devils ahead in their season opener. Periano eyes his target. A critical PK. Periano sinks it for the Blue Devils. Duke has rallied back off the right foot of Nick Periano. Here come the Blue Devils. Koskinen Stadium alive. Oh, what a second half from Duke. Periano scoring the second Blue Devil goal in the second half. It's an 80th minute backbreaker for the Blue Devils who have taken all of the wind out of the sails of Jacksonville. Do the Dolphins have one more rally in them? Can they score their equalizer and try and walk out of here with a draw or something perhaps unimaginable, even more dramatic, scoring two goals? We'll see what the Dolphins have in them. They have played with a terrific amount of metal. They have been well coached and well prepared, and they have been unafraid of the physical nature of this Duke Blue Devil team. Jacksonville. Aggressive offensively. Stout back line. Knocked away Lopez. Quick shot, and that's over the frame. Figured the Dolphins would be aggressive offensively. That's exactly what they were, and Julian I. Stone will take his time. Clock creeping, dwindling the seconds under 10 to play. Another goal, Duke would put this one away. Jacksonville, of course, looking to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Do the Dolphins have one more goal in them? Through ball with no intended target that rolls out of play. Ruben Masalas comes back in for Duke, who can take a more defensive-minded approach over the last nine minutes. This Duke team, as mentioned throughout the broadcast, had an undefeated regular season last year. Gave up just 11 goals all of last season. They scored first in 13 of their 15 matches. That was not the case today. In the 44th minute, Jacksonville scored. They went into halftime with a 1-0 lead. But two goals coming in the second half for this Duke team, one courtesy of Drew Kerr on a set piece just outside the box. A beautiful left-footed strike found its way into the side netting. And then, of course, the penalty kick, Nick Periano. The game-winning goal, at least for the moment. Number 10, one of the best offensive players distributing the ball last year for the Blue Devils. Seven assists, nine points. Matches his goal total from a season ago in the 2023 campaign's opening match. Howitzer hit into the box, but too heavy.
Dupont four and one by Jacksonville. Dolphins will take on Elon on Sunday. Duke will be playing host to the Furman Paladins, 2.30. That start between Duke and Furman. A bender that finds its way to the midline. Bodies fly and a foul called on Duke. Yellow card issued in the process on Miguel Ramirez. It'll be Aceto, rather, who that is issued to. So Cameron Aceto picks up a yellow. Twelve fouls on Jacksonville today, 11 of them on Duke. Played into the box, and the official had not yet blown his whistle. Seven minutes and six seconds to play. Duke with two goals in the second half. This one didn't have a chance. David Robinson comes in for Jacksonville. Kenan Hot, as well as Forrester Ajago will come in. Julian Eyestone, who has been solid today in his collegiate debut. He could be a high school senior. Certainly doesn't have the stature of the average high school senior. Six foot six, 215 pounds. Ranked as one of the top goalkeepers in the country. He reclassified, and he has been solid in his debut with the Duke Blue Devils. A chance for the heartbreaker. Drew Kerr, a chance for his brace. And it's out of play. Corner kick upcoming. Outswinging opportunity for Duke. Taken by Masalas. Masalas will play it off. Duke content to milk time. Able to get out of a tough opportunity in the corner. And a clear foul. Looks to be a yellow card for Jacksonville, and it is. And it's Robinson who's issued the yellow. Duke with 13 shots today, just two of which have been on goal, but they've been two very important ones. Three saves as well for the Blue Devils, 11 fouls. Five and a half minutes left. Played in, a chance at the dagger. Volleyed away by Jay Hugh. Frederick. Pushed from behind and another foul on Jacksonville. Physicality continuing to ramp up as they want to make sure that Duke does not score. Would truly be the dagger for the Jacksonville chances. Koskinen Stadium in the first 44 minutes. Was rocking in favor of Duke with some Jacksonville cheers mixed in, but then the Dolphins scored. Blue Devils were on their heels for a short time. Duke able to rally back in impressive fashion with second half goals from Drew Kerr, Nick Periano, and a PK. This time Jacksonville successful in their defensive pursuit. Fouls continue to fly 
Under four and a half minutes to go in Jacksonville. Unable to stop the relentless possession of Duke. Does JU have a late goal in them to preserve a tie in a match where they have played hard and by and large have played very well? That one punched off the post and in! The dagger, the heartbreaker, the Blue Devils with a 3-1 lead. Seconia was caught out of position. He tried to punch it. He punched it off the post and Duke is going to walk out of here in their 2023 opener with a win. Masales will pick up his first goal of the season. He scored once all of last year, five assists last season for the junior from Sarasota at an IMG Academy. And he has delivered the necessary insurance for Duke to come out from Koskinen Stadium with a win in their opening match. Three second half goals from the Duke Blue Devils to pull away from a feisty and well-coached Jacksonville team. Nothing to hang your head about if you're JU. Of course, no moral victories. That's always the coach speak. But in the first game under Ali Simmons, taking over a Jacksonville team with a lot of changes, a lot of new faces. They played very, very well, especially in half number one when they maintained a 1-0 halftime lead. But with under three minutes to play, Julian Eyestone will find an open Blue Devil on the far flank. Maybe a chance for one more. Sound tackle made by Jacksonville. Casper Davidson leading the charge, hoping for a miracle. Deflected once more. Two and a half to play. Foot on the accelerator. Blue Devils want a fourth. Jacksonville trying to keep this at a 3-1 deficit. Booted down the field by Eyestone. Jai Bean. He'll take a shot and it's wide. Santayo Clements will come in for the last couple minutes as Duke puts the finishing touches on a season opening win after going unbeaten in the 2022 regular season Duke will start off 2023 with more of the same corner kick for Duke They'll continue to bleed clock. And Jacksonville gets the throw in. Stolen away by Daly. One more opportunity for the Blue Devils. An easy save made by J.U. Second Nia has been busy today. Sophomore from Germany. Quick shot and a rip over the crossbar. They had a chance to make it interesting. And the gainsmanship continues as I Stone will go and collect the ball and put it on the six yard box. A minute to play here in Durham, Koskinen Stadium, and the Blue Devils with a big second half. 
are going to go home winners. And John Kerr will pick up his 150th win in his impressive, illustrious career here in Durham. Jacksonville will start their season with a loss. The Ali Simmons era, they faced an uphill battle trying to take down the number four team in the country. They're unable to pick up a win, but at times played like the better team. And the first half had a 1-0 lead, but are unable to overcome the offensive prowess, technical passing, and second half scoring from the Duke Blue Devils. Final seconds tick off the clock. Perhaps a chance for cosmetic opportunity for Jacksonville. Just seven seconds remain, and the Duke Blue Devils open up 2023 with a W. A 3-1 win for Duke on the back of three second-half goals propels John Kerr to his 150th win in his career. Duke will start the season with a victory. Jacksonville will try and regroup on Sunday after